Welcome back, everyone, to another episode of Civilization V. And the last one, well, you guys won't see the last one because uh, <laughs> I recorded it and uh, my battery started to die on my computer because a cord was not plugged in. I don't know why it wasn't plugged in. It's been plugged in all morning. And, um, like, I heard the little notification that, you know, my thing is dying. And uh, I plugged it in. I had my, I had the cord plugged into my computer. But, apparently, somehow, the, uh, the, like, transformer and the, uh, you know, how, you know how computer cables are always, like, two plugs, and they plug into each other and then plug into your computer? I don't know why the fuck they do that. It makes no goddamn sense. But, that's what they do, because, I don't know, it, it, it's stupid. It's absolutely stupid. Um, there's no, there's, as far as I can tell. There's no obvious reason to do that. Um, maybe there is. I don't know. But I don't like it. I don't like it because this happened. And this happened because of it. Okay, this time we're going to build right here. Okay, so, um, yeah. So I did all this, and the, the computer froze. Um, or the game froze, not the computer. And I think it's because I had fraps going at the same time. Normally it doesn't do that. Um, this time it did. <laughs> Lucky me. <laughs> um, but yeah. So I'm redoing a lot of this. I'm not happy about that. Uh, because you, uh, whenever you lose data in a game, like uh, save data, it's restarting is probably the, the most um, miserable thing uh because i mean i had i i quit playing dead space because of that i saved it two times um and like i saved i got back to my game um twice you know i i uh, i got back to my game um and got through where we were in the series and then i saved it uh and I don't know. I don't know what happened. It didn't save. <laughs> and it makes me so miserable. I hate when games do not save. Because... What am I supposed to do? What am I supposed to do? I'm, yeah, I can't do anything. <laughs> Apparently. So we're going to settle a city right here. Maybe not the best place. Yeah, it's not the best place at all. We're going to settle our city here like we did last time. Uh, I'll try not to bitch too much. <laughs> But yeah, I've been playing this game uh, with my friend, um, Jordan, and uh, he's someone who likes to play games on easy. Uh, you know, he likes the press A to win sort of games, um, which, I, I, you know, nothing wrong with that as long as he's enjoying it. Um, it's not something I enjoy, uh, generally. Um, I enjoy it with him because he's my friend and it's easier to just rip on a game if it's on easy. Uh, but normally I like it on normal or one of the harder difficulties just because it what can you build uh, we want granary we want food um, yeah this place is a desert there's no like natural resources for food so we're gonna have to build um, you know pasture and yada 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 um but yeah, he likes to play e games on easy, and I prefer like normal or at least hard game, harder normal games, um, which you know teaches him. And uh, he, he uh, every year he'll buy like the NHL or Madden or um, M MLB the Show um, games. Uh, I don't think he buys the NBA games. Um, he might. I don't know. He also buys like the NCAA games, and he's like he's huge into sports. I'm I'm not at all, um, you know. But he, yeah, like he'll he'll play on the rookie setting so that, um, I mean, he's just absolutely crushing the uh, the team he's playing, and. Uh, <laughs> Like, uh, when we play, we always play NHL, because we love hockey. Um, that's, like, the one sport I actually enjoy. 
and um, build a worker. Yeah, we're gonna need more workers. Um, you are not doing shit. So you come down here. Six turns. Okay, fair enough. Um, I don't know what this guy's gonna do. <laughs> don't attack me. Um, is this iron? No, gems. Ooh, I like gems. Uh, yeah, he he sets it, we set it up so we always get like uh, the the number one draft pick and the. Um, like the star players, like uh, Doughy, um, Dowdy, I think is actually his name, but we always give him nicknames because uh, 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 hockey names are hard to say um, if you if you don't know that. Um, oh, we did this last time too, and then he gave us gold. Yeah. What the hell? Uh, so he last time he offered us this trade, and I thought, oh, well, that's unfair. I'm not just going to give you money for no reason. Uh, so I, I asked for a defensive back. I'm like, sure, you know, sure whatever. Uh, that will be nice because then it means he won't attack us, right? Uh, hopefully. But then he offered us this gold, too. So we're actually only losing 19 gold, and, you know, we, we can definitely afford that. Um, yeah. Gohoki under attack. Things are happening a little differently than before. Um, oh, Jesus. Stop attacking him. Did my workers just kill them? Okay. Fair enough. You guys need to heal. You guys need to get right there. Um... Yeah, and so our our team by the end of um, sorry I keep getting distracted, but uh, our team by the end of um, like the first season or the second season we're winning game probably by the third season we're winning games like um, twelve to nothing if we play or twelve to five realistically because our goalie the best goalie in the league uh, when when we're not playing when we're just simulating because you simulate a lot when you're a GM, um, you, uh, like, you have puck possession so often that, um, if your goalie performs like he should perform, um, then he would, like, never have a goal scored on him, just because they wouldn't take enough shots. They're going to take five or ten shots, so they might get one goal, and so they're never going to win, but, um, when you're actually playing, they skew it, so, like, every three or four shots, it's going to go in. And you know it's going to go in, even though you have a 94 goalie, um, which is the best in the league uh, right now. And, um, oh, right, you can't upgrade him yet. Who needs orders? You need orders. You're going down here. Okay. Um... Yeah, so uh, <laughs> our goalie seems like he sucks whenever we play. We get really mad at him. We're always like, I'm going to fucking trade him. We never do because uh, when we simulate and we simulate all, we, simu we play the first game and then we simulate till the end of the season, um, essentially. Like we do uh, tradings and uh, scouting and all this other stuff, but we don't... Um, play like every game just because that would get oh that would get awful uh, <laughs> if we did and uh, it, there would just be no way to do it um, in a timely manner so like we do that and then we we're always in the playoffs we're always winning like 60 games a year which there's only 81 games in hockey each year and 81 or 82 81 I think 81 games in hockey, so um, the fact that we're winning 60 of them is pretty unrealistic and unfair. Um, but, you know, we're uneasy, and that's how we play the game. Um, that's how he likes it. That's I, I, I enjoy it, too, uh, to a degree. But we're playing, like, two or three seasons um, a year, and we just play the playoffs, really, uh, which are more difficult than 
in the regular season, like the first game, uh, where we win, where we win twelve to five. Um, but it, they're still pretty easy. We only play the last five minutes of them too, and that's only if we're losing. So uh, some some games or some um, seasons we don't play at all, <laughs> uh, other than the first game, just because our team is so dominant, even uh, in the playoffs that you know. We, we don't need to play. <laughs> it's really like mindless fun, um, essentially. But it's just it's more about chatting together and talking and hanging out than actual, um, you know. Oh no no not you. Um, oh yeah, you're the worker I just built. You. Over here. What? God damn it! Get off my roads, spearman. Um. Yeah. Yeah. I just watched uh, *Pulp Fiction* today, uh, which is a really good movie. I've never seen it all the way through. I've only seen the parts that like everyone has seen, um, like the stuff with Marcel. Uh, not with Marcel Wallace, but with um. Uh, what's his face with um, what what's his name uh, Samuel L. Jackson Jules talking about Marcellus Wallace you know um, wh what does he look like he's black uh, what else he's bald does he look like a bitch what and then Samuel L. Jackson shoots him um, the great scene uh, which that movie is really interesting uh, in how it's done like time wise uh, because the first scene and the last scene uh, happen at the same time. And the second to last scene and the second scene happen roughly the same time. Um, and, like, you know, well, yeah. Um, there's there's a few scenes prior to it. But, I mean, like, that time frame. Um, and then it just, like, unfolds on itself where, like, in the middle is the only time where it's, like, the farthest time in the series. Like, um, the stuff with Bruce Willis. That's like the farthest in the series, I think. Maybe the stuff with Uma Thurman are at the same time. Um, it's hard to say, but uh, yeah, it does some weird things with time. But uh, that that movie it has some very tense scenes, and a, a lot of like Mr. Rex and um, all that, which it's good. It's really good. Um, oh, our our people are unhappy again. So let's build some. Circuses. Yeah, we're going to be productive in building circuses. I was going to record two episodes today. I'm still going to record two episodes, but you're not going to see one of them because it will be that lost episode, which I'm already... Uh, I didn't delete it because I thought maybe uh, it had auto-saved or something. It hadn't. I was just being hopeful. <laughs> and now I'm sad. I'm so sad. Uh there's a mo oh god the barbarians are attacking my workers. Um, how long is it gonna take you to get here? Two turns. You're not gonna survive that. You're gonna come back here. Fuck. You can you attack him? Yes, you can. <sighs> I fucking hate the barbarians. <laughs> <laughs> They're impeding my production. Um, but yeah, I, I watched this other really interesting movie, probably more interesting than Pulp Fiction, called uh, Super with uh, Rain Wilson from The American, The Office. Um, not The American, The Office. The American Office. Uh, that's the natural way to say it. Otherwise, you sound like a fucking idiot. Um, which people to try and be like, proper about it they say the american the office which is just stupid it's so stupid just say the american office okay <laughs> we we know what you're talking about um you don't have to add the to every everything that has the we're, we're still gonna understand um no need to be a purist about it um but yeah it has rain wilson he stars this like loser named frank who knows he's a loser and he's okay with it because he's married to this woman who um, lived Tyler, lived Tyler named Sarah, I believe, 
uh, who's, you know, she's good looking, she's, uh, she appreciates him in the beginning, and she's like a recovering alcoholic, and he thinks it's like his job to save her, and, you know, she also takes care of his loneliness, and, um, but she relapses into uh, alcohol and drugs, and she falls for Kevin Bacon. Um, and before, uh, before Rain Wilson, Frank, realizes that um, uh, things are going on, uh, uh, Kevin Bacon stops by, um, and Sarah's not, not there, and uh, Frank is making breakfast, and, um, you know, he makes eggs for his rival, and um, it's just like, it's this really well-played scene, because... You know, Kevin Bacon's a little cocky, he's um, a little cocky, but he's cool, he's calm, he's uh, very relaxed uh, throughout the whole thing. And uh, once Frank realizes what's going on, um, he like flips out and he goes and tries to find Sarah, and he finds Kevin Bacon and Sarah together, and he thinks, like, oh, she's being kidnapped or something. You know, this, this person's a bad man, he's a drug dealer. Um... And so he, like, tries to rescue Sarah, tries to, like, pull her from the car, and uh, she doesn't want to go. She's resisting. So he's, like, pounding on Kevin Bacon's car to, uh, um, ooh, I can build swordsman now. Oh, yeah, because I have iron. That means I can upgrade a few people. Um, sorry. Uh, he's pounding on the car, and Kevin Bacon does the, like, very uh, typical thing of, like, don't touch my car. Um, again, or something like that, and uh, so expectedly, Frank, um, you can you heal? Is that something workers can do? Can workers heal? Apparently not. Um, well, that's shit. Okay, uh, you come here. Um, but yeah, uh, so expectedly, uh, Rain Wilson, like, you know, defiantly gingerly puts one finger on the car and um kevin bacon is like that that's not what i meant and make um, that's not what i meant and you know it or something like that and uh so he just like you know leaves him essentially and he's like you know whatever you're you're not a big deal you're not a threat to me sarah chose me not you yada 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 get off my property that's not where i wanted you to go Damn it. Um, but yeah, like in the beginning of the movie, we we find him kind of sympathetic, um, you know, relatable. We maybe not a great character or anything, but he's he's pitiful, and we we care about him for that at, at the very least. But um, as uh, things go on as he decides to be a superhero. Uh, our opinion of him changes quite a bit. Um, where, uh, you know, it has some funny, funny moments. Um, like where he's... Uh, he first starts out as a, a superhero. And um, he's the Crimson Bolt. He dons this really cheesy costume. Um, after God uh, tentacle rapes him. And... Uh, <laughs> Uh, he dons the costume and he attacks a drug dealer who's just selling some kids some pot. Um, and he's trying to like, sell them sunflower seeds glued to a, uh, uh, a popsicle stick or something. Um, something absurd. Uh, and he's like trying to charge a lot more for it. This chair is really uncomfortable. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, but, you know, he tackles him and they wrestle and then like the gang members or buddies or whatever of the drug dealer comes up and starts like scaring Rain Wilson off and um so you know there's that and uh build a quarry um there's that and so like he he needs a weapon he decides he needs a weapon and he grabs um he uses a monkey wrench it's kind of a, a fitting weapon it matches his costume um but <laughs> It's also a weapon that's gonna do a lot of damage, um, and 
like the audience kind of recognizes that I think right away um, where they're like this this is like a, a serious weapon this this will actually hurt someone um, and if he's just like attacking drug dealers or something they don't deserve to have their skulls split open with this uh, but the, the first time um, you see him he's beating up like child molesters thieves drug dealers and you just get the like typical uh, uh, blood um, like bloody nose and maybe like a little blood on the face but it's not like gruesome or anything not yet and then he's in line uh, waiting for um, a movie and uh, some people cut in front of him and some other people and he hears um, he hears everyone kind of griping about this and uh, so he so he he as Frank um, not as the Crimson Bolt steps up and tries to say hey get get back in line you don't that's not your spot um, and they don't listen to him you know they're like whatever buddy fuck off um, I think they actually say fuck off or fuck you and um, so he, he goes to the trunk of his car and he gets his monkey wrench and his costume and he changes in, in the car uh, even though like everyone can see him and um, why are you attacking me get over here I mean I know why they're attacking me but stop Oh, sorry. Composite Bowman. Yeah, we need we need a bigger army right now. We have good defense, but not not a lot of not a lot. Okay, it might be good, but it's not a lot of it. Um, so we need one, two people, uh, two more over there at least. Um, so yeah, yeah, he goes to the trunk of his car. He gets his monkey wrench, and uh, he's prepared to dole out justice to these uh, line cutters and um, he they, they realize who he is and I think he kind of panics and um, he cracks one of them on the head uh, which we see for the first time that he's doing real damage to this person right um, he's okay I think we can actually get our workers down here now you, oh shit, um, we see he's doing real damage to the people, and I think everyone else, uh, who's seen the Crimson Bolt on TV, and seen that he's, like, he's a bit of a psychopath, um, like, he's not really doing any good for the world, according to, like, news reporters and cops and everything, um, they see that, you know, he's a psychopath, but they kind of treat him, like, jokingly, like, uh, who's this joker, you know, he's just some crazy person, um, but now that they've seen it firsthand, him cracking someone's skull open, which I think it's done kind of in a cheesy way, uh, like you would see in a comic book, but it's also gruesome, just seeing someone's skull split uh, like that. It doesn't kill the person, but at least not immediately. Um, but the, like, the public kind of turns on him at, at first. Like, they don't like him, essentially. We still kind of... Um, it's kind of like a turning point for both of us. Like we start to realize, okay, this guy, this guy, anyone who tries to be a superhero is going to essentially fuck it up. Um, they're gonna be, have to be a psychopath. This is what they're going to have to do in order to, uh, be a superhero like Batman. Um, which, you know, uh, yeah, he's he's a bit of a psychopath too. He's just done in a movie sort of way, and this is done in a realistic way. But the audience, or not the audience, the um, the crowd, the people in um, the people in the movie uh, have kind of started to realize um, that he's not what they think he is either. They don't really know what he is yet. Um, they they you'll see, uh, but. You know, the Crimson Bolt, he, his job was to win his wife back. And so he, he thinks before he retires, um, he has to do this. He has to do that, at the very least. And um, what should you build? You should build a monument. Yes, give us more culture. Um, so yeah, he's go he goes to get his wife, 
and he goes to Kevin Bacon's house and him and his gang they have guns which apparently he's never um, encountered before uh, so it's a little um, so he, he gets shot and it's just a little um, we, we start to kind of feel sympathy for him again like he's doing this for a good reason it's the pinch it's reminding us of the main plot of why he's doing this all that um, but it it also very much um, sorry I'm getting distracted by trying to play a game and talk about this at the same time um, it reminds us that you know he's kind of a good guy but he's also in way over his head um, he hasn't really thought this through he's kind of an idiot uh, frankly and um, eh, frank, frankly uh, yeah, he's kind of an idiot, but he, he gets shot and he goes to uh, this girl's house, um, Ellen Page. Yeah, that's her name. I, can't, I was thinking like Page Ellen. No, Ellen Page, or is it Ellen Ellen Ellen? Uh, no, but it's Ellen Page. And um, uh, you go. Where should you go? Sorry, that was probably not a pleasant sound. Um, I don't know. Do nothing. <laughs> uh, sorry, that's not the most efficient thing to do, but they're gonna have to do nothing eventually. Anyway, um, he goes to her house. Her house. She realizes he's the Crimson Bolt. She's known it all along. She's been helping him a little bit, um, with all of his, uh, his like things. And she works at a comic book store, so she's like really into the whole. Um, mythos of comics and everything. Um, she she thinks cheesecake comic, uh, uh, cheesecake art is uh, how a real superheroine or sidekick, as she becomes, um, should act. And uh, she's a little sex crazed. She's not the smartest person, and she's a bit of a lunatic. Um, on their first mission together, she kills a guy for keying her friend's car a year ago. Um, and and they're about to like kick out, and then um, uh, Frank and Libby like when they're discussing this, they're like, you know what, no more. There's gonna be no more sidekick. There's gonna be no more friendship. You know, the Crimson Bolt works alone essentially. Um, and uh, just when this is happening, uh, Kevin Bacon's men come in, come and uh, attack them. And they each kill one of them. Um, uh, Frank kills one person. He shoots a guy. And uh, Bolty, Ellen Page, kills um, someone else with the car. And they both realize they're, like, too far into this. And uh, so they go to the... Sorry. Um, they go to the... the uh, the gun store and just like buy tons of ammunition. They buy like things for making bombs. They buy Kevlar. They buy big guns. Um, they buy like sharp uh, tools for um, like uh, eviscerating and slitting people's throats and everything. And they're absolutely committed to all this. Um, oh, let's renew that. Let's be friends with the Mayans. Uh, we, we, they. Don't, we don't want them to attack us. Um, friendship. <gasps> but... Yeah, give you a little gold. Yeah. How about... No! Stop! Okay, four. Sure, that's fine. Can we... Uh, I don't want to ask them again. Um, but, yeah, so they... They're prepared to go all out and destroy um, this drug dealer. Uh, who, they don't really deserve it for... Um, I mean, like... All he did was steal his wife. Like, I'm not saying that's a good thing, but it's, it's not really a... A murderous offense <laughs> um, but they treat it like that I guess and uh, you know he's a drug dealer he's a bad person whatever it 
kind of makes sense. Um, <laughs> but at this point, we've um, we've seen that the uh, the news has realized that all the people he was attacking were villains of some sort. They were bad people. They were. Um, oh, we met Ramses. <laughs> أنا رمسيس الإله إنني تجسيد حي لمصر أب وأم جميع الحضارات هيا مصر السخية تقدم لك هذا العرض okay. كلا بكل تأكيد That seems weird um, But yeah uh, Anyway um, the, the crowd The audience uh, Not the crowd uh, the, the people in his world Um have kind of realized that he's been only attacking bad people and um, so they're they're they have a higher opinion of him uh, than ever before they think he's like a actual hero but for us we've kind of realized that he's just a lunatic and um, I feel like we need farms over here yeah I don't want to do that Go over here. Um, I don't want to do that. Uh, but yeah, we've realized he's just a lunatic. And he goes and he has like this big assault on the compound of um, the, the drug dealer's place. And uh, he throws a pipe bomb. You know, he shoots some people. He They uh, slash some people with like the wolverine claws. And uh, like it's very gruesome even though they put like those comic book side effects in the uh-oh that's not good is there do you have any iron <laughs> can we trade uh, you have no strategic wow I might want to attack you <laughs> Sorry, no, I, I don't want to be a warmonger. We're, we're friendly people. Go on. Do you have any? Iron. 103 and wine. Okay. Yeah. Sure. Fair enough. Uh, oh, we need... Ooh, our people are not happy. Um, let's build circuses or amphitheaters or anything that will make them happy. <laughs> we can upgrade our. Oh, you are a pikeman. My bad. <laughs> yeah, not the best. Do I have pikemen here too? Oh, okay. Sorry, I thought we were still spearmen for some reason. I was wondering why we weren't there. But yeah, um, they go and like they like uh, they assault the compound and it's it's like ironically cheesy, um, like where it has the it's ironically campy, I guess, where it has like the kablam sound effects, you know, the whack, pow, expl or bam, and yet like uh, after the pipe bomb goes off. Um, some of the men come out uh, to see what's uh, to you know they know what's going on. Like this element of surprise can only last as long as the pipe bomb, essentially. Except, um, and so, uh, hey, don't come into our land. Um, so they come out and they have their guns ready. They're no longer caught off guard. Um, and uh, sorry, um, they're no longer caught off guard, and they're just kind of um, you know they, they they fire back, they return fire like they would, and immediately they hit Frank. Like first few shots, uh, Frank gets hit. He's he's hit in the chest where he has Kevlar on, he has body armor on, so he's fine, but he gets knocked down. And Libby gets knocked down too. Uh, Ellen Page, she gets knocked down, but um, you know he he stands up and she doesn't because she's been shot in the head and she's dead. Um, for my quarry, um, and yeah, it's like this really gruesome. Uh, 
like you you see a quarter of her head blown off and it's not a pretty sight um it's like the real danger of what will happen if you're a superhero and uh sorry i guess this is all spoilers but uh i have iron though whatever um yeah so i i i don't know that's a good movie it's not entertaining it definitely plays with your expectations it's kind of marketed as a black comedy but it's not all that funny it's like disturbing serious and disturbing um by the end and it's interesting i think it's worth watching i just don't know that it's um yeah i don't i don't know that you will and i don't know that you'll laugh or enjoy it really it'll just be like this interesting interesting thing to tell your friends about um <laughs> tell other people about that's what i'm using it for uh yeah i don't know uh it's done by james gunn who's the director of guardians of the galaxy um, which is another really good movie that I'll talk about next time, I guess. Because, hey, why not talk about movies every time I do this? Um, I'm not going to do that. Uh, but, yeah, it's it's definitely worth watching. Anyway, uh, I'm going to end the episode as soon as it turns back to my turn. I don't know why I continued clicking buttons because I haven't really been paying attention. Um, I've been talking about this movie, which it really deserves my full attention to, to talk about just because I... I it, it's it's an interesting movie. It's a smart movie. Um, maybe read Roger Ebert's review of it. He gave it two stars. I think I'd give it like three stars if I were uh, reviewing. Like it's better than. It's not a bad movie. It's better than what he he seems to think. It's um just anarchy by the end and um doesn't really know what its point is. But I think it does know what its point is. I think his are fueled by. It. He's not part of the nerd culture. And I am, and like as as a nerd, I've always dreamed of being like a superhero. But oh, geez, we're losing money. <laughs> That's bad. Um, why are we losing money? Unit maintenance, building maintenance improvements, seven dollar civilizations. Mm. It's not good. We might have to get rid of some some things. Okay, we'll we'll worry about that in the next one. I'm gonna go get a burger. <laughs> I'm really hungry. So uh, thanks for watching, and catch you later.